So what is going on guys and welcome back to a very very new um, series or episode, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I don't know um, what you guys are going to think of this but it's just my opinion um, and basically as you can see from the title it is um, Tottenham, Tottenham Squad 2013-14. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because there are a lot of new transfers that have just happened and Tottenham have signed three very, very good players um, and they're all going to be potentially first team players. Um, so this is basically why I've done this video, just um, to let you guys know what I think about these signings and also if you guys like the series, obviously I can do it for different teams as well. So as you see there, um, we have Paulinho in the squad, uh, Chadley is also on the wing, so Bale um, and Soldado, what do I think of them too? So Bale, I really don't know what's going to happen with Bale at this moment in time because obviously he is on the brink of moving to uh, Real Madrid, um, so it isn't going to be easy to try and hold Gareth Bale because he is such a quality player, um, but I think... Tottenham will manage to keep him. I think they'll do well if they do. Um, but yet again, um, if they're offering 80-something million, I, me personally, I would accept it because I don't believe any player is worth that much. But there you go. Um, as you probably have figured this out, this is actually a live commentary. So this is my first live commentary, believe it or not. Um, so I'm sorry if there's a little bit of jiggy things like where I stop and that. But... Um, but I'll try my best. So, as you see, um, I did actually choose Arsenal to play against in this game. Uh, because, one, they are my rivals. And, two, they haven't actually brought anyone yet. So, I just like rubbing salt in the wounds, to be honest. Because I know this season, Tottenham will probably finish. And what a goal by Soldado. Soldado, in the 13th minute, just proving that he will be the striker for Tottenham. So... I am actually doing this video um, on the 6th of August um, and Soldado got transferred on the 5th of August. So he has only just joined the club. He hasn't had any training sessions with the club so far um, and he also has not, um, well, he hasn't played with the club. He doesn't know some of the players yet. Um, but this, as you see here, Michael Dawson running through the centre-back has a shot and Michael Dawson, that's why you can see he's a centre-back. I'm sorry, but that was pretty diabolical, Michael Dawson. But let's go back to the striking force. Um, I believe Soldado will be the player that will get us Champions League football next season. The reason I think that is because at the moment, Jermaine Defoe, I'm not knocking anything away from Jermaine Defoe because he is a um, very, very class uh, striker. But I believe that we can't really do much with one striker, to be honest, because added by your... Uh, the honest truth, I think he's absolutely shite. Um, that is the honest truth. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And basically, that's the truth. Um, I think Adebayor, you might as well put a cone there. Uh, because he doesn't do anything. Um, so, that's my opinion of Adebayor. But, as you see there, also, we have also signed Chadley. Nasir Chadley. I saw him play because Tottenham did play against Monaco. And they actually lost 5-2. So, it's pretty... Um, an embarrassment, I should say, um, of Tottenham playing against Monaco. Um, so the embarrassment came because they lost 5-2. That's right, they lost 5-2, so they got absolutely hammered. And Soldado, once again, with another beautiful goal. 29 minutes this time, and we were now 2-0 up against Arsenal. Um, Nasir Chadley running down the wing, puts a lovely ball in the box. Um, we do then finish it off with Soldado. So I was very happy um, that Soldado has actually um, proved a point for me in this game already. And this is the first game I've actually played with Soldado in FIFA 13, because I've never played for Valencia, and I've never signed him either on a contract. So it's me getting used to Soldado as well. And I personally like him. I think he's a very good player. Um, he's very sharp, even though he's about 5 foot 8, I believe. Um, he is um, very good. Uh, we also now have Paulinho in the squad. Paulinho was the first player to sign for Tottenham. And I believe it was 17 million we got Paulinho for. And he is a Brazilian international. So, obviously, he's a very good player. Um, as, as this is Paulinho on the ball now, side foots it, and it ends up in the back of the net. 
37 minutes this time and we were 3-0 up. So Dardo getting two and Paulinho getting one. So, do um, basically, I've done this because this is basically like a test pilot as well. The reason I've chose Tottenham is because obviously, as you guys probably know, I do support Tottenham. And because I support Tottenham, Tottenham were the first team I decided to do this series on. Um, so because of that, Gareth Bale is now through. Can he finish it off? Oh, he goes around the keeper, but unfortunately the defender gets back. Um, I was just messing around there. But if you guys want me to do any potential transfers or potential teams for FIFA 14, just let me know and I will try and do that for you. Um, because obviously I like to please you guys. Um, and Soldado there um, trying a little dink over the goalkeeper, but it didn't work. So we've, we were 3-0 up, uh, approaching half-time now. Um one position I do think we need to improve, I think we need to improve the left back position, uh, mainly because of Asua Koto. I don't think he's strong enough, um, as you see there he gets, uh, I don't know, he's just, I think he's a little bit small, um, don't get me wrong, he's good at attacking, he's got some very good shots on him, um, but as you see there, he was lacking, he didn't get back, um, and leaves the hole in the fence which I don't really like when it happens as you see there so I had to close in but he didn't close in um, so we are now 3-1 up but I'm not really bothered about the scoreline in this game because it's nothing important it's just me um, well I'm not messing around but you know what I mean just playing um, Gareth Bale sprinting down the wing and Gareth Bale my honest opinion I really hope Gareth Bale doesn't go because he is my favourite player um, so that's my honest opinion. I really hope he does not leave Tottenham. But in deep down, I think he will leave. But then that's up to him. If he wants to leave, then fair enough. But let's go back into the squad. So the centre-back position. Vertonghen, I think, a brilliant a brilliant uh, centre-defensive uh, player. I think he's very, very strong. And I think he's very good. But... One problem with uh, Vertonghen is he attacks a lot and when he attacks, he leaves hole in the defence. So basically what Paulinho should be doing is filling in them gaps because Paulinho is a centre defensive mid. So I don't know whether villas Burst is actually going to play him in that role. Um, he might not actually because of um, he's in the World Cup with Brazil. He played in the centre mid role. And he was um, very, very good in that centre mid role. So he might be playing there instead of Scotty Parker. Um, which I do actually like Scott Parker. But I just think he's getting a little bit old now for the Premier League. He's don't, he is a very good player to bring on as a sub. I know he's still the Tottenham captain. And Michael Dawson is going to get sent off there. Um, yeah, red card for Michael Dawson, the captain. So Michael Dawson, let's go on to him. Um, I think he's... Uh, He's a good player, but I think he is very clumsy. He, he gives away stupid penalties. Um, yeah, he's just very clumsy. Uh, I don't, I don't really have an opinion on him because he's not obviously my favourite player. I don't particularly rate him that much because he does give away stupid uh, penalties or free kicks. Because that's straight away. If anyone's going to give away a penalty in the back line, it will be Michael Dawson because he's either handling the ball or he takes stupid hack at the legs, uh, which I really don't get. Uh, like when they're running away from goal, when they hack at their legs, it just doesn't make sense. They, they're going nowhere, but they still do it. I think they do it just, just for the f fun of it. I don't know. But there you go. Another position that I think we need to improve, and like I said before, is the left back position. I thought um, Nathaniel Klein would be a very, very good uh, buy. But um, by the looks of it, he wants to stay at Southampton. And also Luke Shaw um, is going to stay at Southampton. So that doesn't look very promising to get any left backs at this moment in time. Unless we do then go. And I can see Gareth Bale at the top. Gareth Bale, wonderful ball through. Gareth Bale is through on goal. Can he resist the tackle? Yes, he can. But a very poor um, shot from Gareth Bale there. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not sure... Uh, he's just, like I said before, he's he's little. I don't like his hair. It really pisses me off by the ha his hair. I just don't know. But going back to the striker force, Soldado is one heck of a player. And if we can play, because I don't know what formation they are going to be playing 
um, because I, they could either play two up front and they could play Gareth Bale in the centre attack in mid roll um, if Gareth Bale stays. If he doesn't stay, then Gilfie Sigurdsson, Lewis Holtby or Dempsey can play in that role. Or if he wants a completely different formation, he could then have um, two strikers and them two strikers could be um, Soldado and... Uh, Jermaine Defoe because Adebayor I believe is going to Basiktas I don't think Adebayor is going to be staying at the club um, and because I don't think he's going to be staying at the club they're not going to be playing around him because at the moment I think it gets on my nerves when Tottenham aren't a team that just hoof the ball upfield but because Adebayor is up there and he's tall all they do is hoof the ball upfield and they don't do anything else apart from that and that I don't know they're going to score no they're not okay so, starting from the goalkeeper, I think Hugo Uris is an amazing goalkeeper and they're never going to get rid of him. Um, Nasir Chadli, I think he's a very, very good player. He's got tons of potential in him. Um, and as you see there, a very good run. He nearly scored. Um, obviously, this is not real life, as you know. But I have seen him play in real life when he plays for Belgium. He is a very, very good player. He's like... A Gareth Bale basically he's like a Gareth Bale but just not as quick and he's probably not as skillful as Gareth Bale but he has got the ability um, to take on players to have shots from outside the box he can do pretty much everything this Nasser Chadley can do because um, he's only 22 years old as well so he's quite young also Paulinho is a very very strong defender and he uh, he can well Defender, centre midfielder, he can play anywhere on the park. And that was stupid by me, stupid in the 90th minute. I was trying to play out and I fucked it up. So I'm going to end up losing, uh, drawing this match from 3-0 down. That is very poor in my perspective. Um, but can Soldado do it for me? No, he can't. <gasps> he has the post! Soldado hit the post. So close for Soldado. That would have been the perfect end if Soldado could have got that. Um, but I'm afraid it wasn't to be. And the game is probably now going to end. And we ended up drawing three all against Arsenal. But I'm not bothered about the result. Uh, mainly, I was only bothered about um, basically me explaining to you um, all of the players that have arrived and Soldado is the first penalty taker to step up can Soldado score um, yes he can with a wonderful penalty um, I don't want to commentate this like my career mode because otherwise it probably get boring for you guys um, so basically um, yeah I think Hugo Lloris uh, definite staying I think Vertonghen as you know he is injured at this moment in time um, so that's not good news for Tottenham fans um, so it'd probably be Corker and Dawson starting the thing starting the the um season or it could also be um Eunice Kabul could be playing because don't get me wrong he is a very good player and he's like an animal he is he is very good uh Nasir Chadley here stepping up can Nasir Chadley finish the ball off yes he can um so that's it really we are now approaching the end of this episode uh series slash episode whatever you want to call it so please let me know whether you want me to do this with um more clubs uh, let me know the clubs that you want me to do them with. Uh, obviously, whether you want me to do it, Man United, Man City, um, whoever you want me to do it with, just let me know and I'll do it for you guys. Um, it can be any team. Any team that's in FIFA 13 will do. Um, so that's all I ask you. Just let me know whether you like the series. And if you do, uh, just let me know what team you would like me to do the pro the next one. Um, Vertonghen's the next penalty taker up. Vertonghen with his cheeky dink. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Um, so we've now finished the game. Um, we ended up winning. Soldado, brilliant player. Nasir Chadli, very good. And Paulinho, brilliant. So that's it, really. So please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time on whatever that episode might be.